All right, hello guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So in today's video, we'll basically be doing a team I thought up of, and this team is the alcoholic team. So you probably remember that infamous scene with uh, Himeno, where she, you know, she <laughs> damn near statutory raped. Uh, what's his name? Denji. But, you know, at least she didn't do it. And then we got Nabito. You know, he, he's a drunk. Like, yeah, that that's literally all. He, he's just a drunk. No, no almost statutory rape. He's just drunk. And then Shoko, the heaviest drinker in Jujutsu Kaisen history. Yeah, she's just like that. I didn't even know she drank. I just thought she was just smoking for real. But now nah, she's the heaviest drinker in JJK, so you already know how it is. The Evo is very fitting. Very, very fitting. Alright, so uh, without further ado, let's get into the actual stage. We'll be doing boss rush for this video. Because Shoko can remove stun, which makes my life a million times easier. A million. But we'll have to see how everything goes in a moment. Right now, I honestly don't know. I have to see how well they do. Okay. Oh yeah, while I'm here, might as well talk about the poll results from. It's supposed to be a daily thing, but you know. So uh, for the first one, we have the Kyoto Student Event and everything before that. So basically, the start of Jujutsu Kaisen to the Kyoto Student Event. That's at four percent. Not surprising. That's not very. That's not a very interesting arc, or saga, or whatever you want to call it. Whatever. It's not that interesting. We have Shibuya slash Gojo's past arc at twenty three percent. I expected it to be a lot higher just because of anime recency bias. Uh, we got Culling Games at fifteen percent. The preparation arc and Yuji extermination arc. That's not too surprising. I wasn't expecting it to be like number one or anything, but fifteen percent, you know, kind of suits it because not everybody's seen the anime. I mean, not everybody's read the manga for good reason too. The manga's kind of boo boo right now. If you ask me. Uh, what really shocked me is that forty-seven percent of people voted that the best Jujutsu Kaisen arc is the Sukuna Gauntlet run. Also known as the Sakuna versus Jujutsu Sorcerers at 47%. Yep, pe people enjoy that bullshit. And, you know, I don't know how they do it, but they enjoy it. And um, I'm just here to report what the people say. Uh, for JJK Zero, we got 11%. I was kind of surprised it was well, that many people liked it, but it's not like Jujutsu Kaisen Zero is bad or anything. It was just that I didn't expect that much love for it. Usually don't expect that much love for stuff like that. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, let's get into my favorite arc. So, personally, my favorite arc would probably have to be either Shibuya or Culling Games. And I'm leaning more towards Culling Games, I'm not gonna lie. Um, uh, shit, my favorite arc is Culling Games, probably because it was just most interesting. Like, the concept was really good. It was just unfortunate that, uh... I don't even know if he didn't execute it properly. It's just that, I don't know. Edgy just couldn't do something that well with that concept. And it's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Hopefully, Himeno is a resist unit, so let's just get her out. Yeah, she's also going to be what's dealing with our flyings for now. Once we get Shoko to a high enough upgrade where she can actually, like, do something, then, uh, yeah, we'll eventually start using her, too. We gotta get leader maxed out. I'm probably gonna turn off auto skip because there's probably enemies that are eating at the base HP, and I'm, I'm so sick and tired of that mechanic. I'm not gonna hold you. Eating at the base HP has never been a favorite mechanic of mine. Alright, let's get some upgrades on the one and only leader. Yeah, I'm never going to say that again. Yeah, no, my favorite arc is probably uh, Culling Games or... Nah, yeah, I just say Culling Games. 
Fun Games, it, it has some really big potential, and it was actually enjoyable. From what I remember, at least. I, I don't know how I'd feel about it now, because I'm not going to lie. The, uh, JJK as a whole is just falling out of favor with me recently. And uh, I really don't know why, I'm, honestly. But uh, back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah, that'd probably be my favorite arc. I found it very interesting. I loved what they were doing with it. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I just really liked what they were doing with it. And, uh, unfortunately, since this Sakuna Gauntlet run after that ends, that's the last arc of Jujutsu Kaisen. So, we'll never really... Which is a good thing. The Sakuna Gauntlet run, if it didn't end there, then... Jesus Christ. But that 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 all aside. Uh, yeah, no. I think it's a decent arc. I love it. But what I just can't believe is that many people chose the Gauntlet Run arc. Because to me, that shit is the epitome of boring and uninteresting. Because I just didn't like it. There was nothing to like about it. That's the issue. Because, like, bro, Sukuna, it was, it was just a cycle at that point. Some character would get overhyped. Sukuna will come, like, some character will get overhyped. They do something cool. Sukuna will pull out a, a fucking technique he hasn't used since the hand era. And then they're done for. Like, they're literally dead. If they're not dead, they're probably out of commission forever, like you do. Like, it's so stupid, because it's just like, dude, why, why? What am I even watching at this point? Like, it's not entertaining. It's not cool. Every single time the character gets hyped up. Bro, it was over right after Yuda. I'm not going to lie. Which is pretty recent, so you can't be can't say too much about it. But not going to lie, I lost interest. I lost interest once Higuruma died, if I'm being honest. Because, uh, like, once Higuruma died and the Judge Sword didn't do shit, I was like, mm, okay. I mean, like, that wasn't surprising. Nobody should have been surprised that the Judge Sword didn't do shit to uh, Sukuna because that's plot incarnate. Like, be real, bro. Of course it's not going to do shit. Unfortunately. But, dude, that, that was just so fucking... Annoying, bro, because, like, oh, my God, man. When are we actually going to get to the good shit? The issue is I don't ever think we got to that quote-unquote good shit. But, you know, Yuji's awakening to his uh main character status. He's finally getting the plot armor that Sakuna has been... You know, I don't even know if you can call that plot armor. I'm sure Geji has a wonderful explanation for it. The chapter after next. But, you know, I... Uh, Maybe I'll be there to read it. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, no, I just really can't believe that. Because, one, I didn't think that many people watched the manga, read the manga anyways. I thought most people were just waiting for the anime. If I was a JJK fan, I'd probably wait for the anime too. Because the manga is... Jesus Christ, bro. I hope they animate it well. That's all I can say. Because the story is straight as... In my opinion, that is. In my opinion. You know, I'm sure people disagree. They're free to disagree. But, man, that shit was just not good in my opinion. Like, I don't fuck with it. If niggas fuck with it, that's fine. It, it's really not that bad. I'm kind of being overdramatic. But, I oh, don't know, man. I just feel like for all the hype that show is getting, I was kind of expecting more. But, I guess not. Can only expect so much. And Shoko's now powered up. Officially hit her tweaking stage. Alright, now time to power up all these other Shoko's. Power up. Let's turn off auto skip and try to last for as long as possible. I actually want this team to go somewhere. Because, <laughs> dude, these bosses and their stun, they just make boss rush, rush such a headache, bro. Like, you just need to get them out as quick as possible. You know, while we're here, we might as well look at some effects. And, you know, we got some extra time. I already discussed the Jujutsu Kaisen stuff. Yeah. Uh, the Blam Spot situation, honestly. Uh, I mean, I've done streams and a few videos on uh, Anime Last Stand. I'm not going to say I'm a fan of Blam... Whoa, okay. I was never a fan of Blam Spot. I didn't really like his... Uh... Dude, no, nah, that's... Okay. See, it's hard to phrase it, but I'm not a Blam Spot fan. I can say that much. I'm not a fan of Blam Spot. He was a cool YouTuber. He still is. Like, yeah, he's just cool. 
I, I don't know. It's, I just can't really phrase it at the moment. But I don't know. It's just the entire situation seems fucked. Because, like, dude, I don't know why they would even kick Blam Spot to begin with. Like, talking about it'd be bad for the future of this game. This game has no future if it's just composed of rookie developers who keep on releasing delayed shitty updates, bro. Like, the game's going to fade into obscurity, bro. At least have one of the biggest Roblox anime YouTubers advertise it. Like, that's literally the best they can do. Of course, they're not, like, immediately losing players, but I, I feel like you can see a huge down spike in the future. And, you know, I could be wrong. I could just be straight hating because I'm not a fan of anime last night. I don't like what they're doing. And uh, I don't think the rem I don't think removing Blam Spot will make any of that better because they've already solidified themselves as that one shit game, I guess. Like, dude, it's just... Everything in that game feels rushed because nothing feels polished. Nothing feels right. Every single time they update, they always have to fix something that you feel like, how did this pass the testing phase? And, you know, that's a really good question. I wonder if they, I wonder if they even have testers because, like, I have no clue. I don't even know if they have testers. And if they do have testers, they're doing a shit job, bro. Like, I didn't want to make this a rant about Anime Last Stand, but, like, holy shit, bro. Like, how do they always fumble the bag? Like, now they're losing, like, all their publicity in one foul swoop, bro. Because, I'm going to be honest, bro. Them niggas in anime last night. None of them niggas got clout like Blam Spot, bro. And I feel like Blam Spot was really what made Anime Last Stand. Anime Last Stand would not be seeing its spikes without Blam Spot. Because Anime Last Stand is fundamentally not a good game. It's not built well. It's, it's clunky. It's nasty. The only thing that's really keeping people in is the reroll system. And if they had just stopped giving reroll codes... I'm sure a lot of people will hop off the game. I mean, I was been off the game even without the uh, issue with rerolls. The game is just not fun and damn near unplayable. Like, I'm just not a fan of it in general. And not gonna lie, I'm not trying to make this video too long, so I'm gonna start skipping. But yeah, this team should last long because of what I did, so man, it's whatever. Yeah, I'm not gonna say I'm a fan of him, but like, shit, bro. It's just like, I don't think this game really has a future without Blam Spot. But, you know, that could just be me tweaking or some shit. Maybe this game is going to, like, what can they do? I mean, if they hired better developers who actually knew what the hell they were doing, then maybe the game would have a better chance. But do they even have the money for that? God knows. Uh, the new bundles they added, that... In my opinion, that's a fucking scam, bro. I'm not paying $75 for a fucking... Miss Valentine unit. I don't know if you guys have watched One Piece, but Miss Valentine literally gets dropped off in the early episodes of One Piece. That that just shows you how shit the character is. There's a thousand and one hundred episodes of One Piece, and they get dropped off at like episode sixty, bro. Like you can just assume the character is worthless. And yeah, she is. <laughs> There's no sugarcoating that she sucks. She's weak. She's garbage. Like Jesus Christ, bro. But yeah, there is no but. Uh, with what Blam Spot said, I probably have to agree. I do think anime last stand might actually be done for. Uh, like you can see the slow decline of anime last stand. This is nothing new. The game's been declining like rapidly because like what when they dropped, they were getting like sixty k, maybe a hundred k players. Of course, that was just opening day hype. I think after, like, update 2 or 3, they just dropped down, like, 20k. Now they're at 11k. Now, as people are, like, actually finding stuff to do in life, they just keep on dropping lower and lower and lower. And I can't really say all that because, you know, I'm playing... I'm Here I am playing Anime World Tower Defense, the game that <laughs> just keeps on dropping. But, yeah, all that aside, I just feel like Anime Last Stand was... You know, that was really unexpected. I didn't expect Blam Spot to get kicked. I didn't expect any of that to happen. And most importantly, I definitely didn't expect... Uh, I definitely didn't expect the events to uh, unfold like that. Because, like, I don't know what Blam Spot's been saying, but apparently somebody told me that Blam Spot's been saying that uh, Shock was kicked too and Async is taking over the game. If that's the case, then... Jesus Christ. That's textbook greed, if you ask me. Like, bro, I just want his... 
just wanted his cut. And, you know, I definitely can't blame him. I was going to say I can't, but, like, what the fuck, bro? It's a Roblox game. The Greed should never get that bad in a Roblox game. Like, I feel like he's getting paid good enough. Uh, I feel like Blame Squad did a lot for that game, and for them to kick him out is sort of outrageous. Saying it's not well for their future is also really not a good explanation. If they could, like, go further into depth and give us an actual reason of why he was kicked. Because now it just feels like Blamspot's giving his side of the story. Of course, some people think he's lying because some people don't like Blamspot, which I, I don't really understand. How could you enjoy How could you enjoy Anime Last Stand and hate Blamspot? I, I don't get it. Like, Blamspot is Anime Last Stand. When you think of Anime Last Stand, you probably thinking of blam spot because he's the only real youtuber for that game because <laughs> there's really nobody else interested in that shit and you know that's just the unfortunate circumstances hopefully i guess i'm good right here the sakuna skin need i say more i hate that nigga <laughs> like of all things they gave me they gave me the sakuna skin yep you know hey that's it hope you guys enjoyed the video this is a really long one hope you guys will still watch all the way through Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys. Bye.